it is 11.22. Um, I found out that my appointment was at 11.30 and not 11. So I spent the extra 30 minutes I had editing yesterday's video. So that'll I'll, I'll put that up whenever I get back. It is really, really ugly out today. It was raining really hard this morning. And uh, it's still raining. A lot of stuff is flooded. Not very pretty today by any means. But anyway, I go to the, the dentist's office, get my teeth cleaned, and hopefully we'll not have any cavities. The last time I was there, I had two, I think. I should not do that again, if possible. All right, it's uh, 11.32, I'm about two minutes late, so I'm gonna run in here. Let's just hope that I just don't have any cavities because uh, getting fillings hurts. Let's do it. Oh man. The good news is I don't have two cavities. The bad news is I have one cavity. Less than two weeks from today, I will be back to get that filled. Crap. Otherwise, that wasn't, that wasn't too horribly bad, I guess. Some of the scraping started to get to me. I did not get enough sleep last night and I was starting to fall asleep. There was one point where she was flossing where I realized that the only reason my mouth was open was because her hand was in my mouth and that I was literally chewing on her hand. I'm gonna try and be more careful, I'm trying to do a lot less hand chewing in my in my future. But the, the dentist is done, so I am going to head home. Yep. If this was any other day, seeing as how I'm out and about, I may actually stop by Walmart and pick up a booster because I am addicted to magic like a hobo is addicted to crack. However, last night I talked to Jeremy, Jarrett, and Austin and asked them if they wanted to split a booster box. A booster box is 36 booster packs, which is a lot. We split it four ways. We each get nine packs. MSRP on nine packs would be somewhere like $37 or something, but we would pay around $24. We're gonna save like $13, and everyone was down for that. So last night I ordered a $97 booster box, knowing that I have just spent, you know, 25 bucks on magic cards. It's gonna keep me from wanting to buy any for just a little bit. We decided that whenever Austin and Jeremy get back from college, the four of us are all gonna meet up and open all the, the packs and stuff at the same time. So we'll have like a little uh, booster box opening ceremony. That's gonna happen in about two weeks. So the next time I go to the dentist, probably the, a day or two after, we'll be opening that booster box. And then, only a week later, December 22nd, Mallory will be here. Uh, 19 days, I believe, so good things are uh, in store. It's just a matter of waiting long enough to get them. Also, Justin contacted me. His wife, and also it feels really weird to say that, but his wife, Laura, runs a dance studio and she's putting on the Nutcracker. He wants me to film it, slash edit it, slash turn it into a DVD. So, I told him uh, I would be down for that. It's three nights, it's Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I would be filming every night from a different angle, so then I would have footage from three angles I could jump to and, and probably put together a pretty cool little movie video thing. But that is tomorrow, so I have to meet Justin tomorrow at 5 o'clock to be good fun. Good fun. Good fun. Well, um, I came home. I was taking a nap. Like I said, I was really tired. I get a call from my friend John Gadlock um, who said that he had a laptop or something that had a virus and he wants me to fix it. The easiest way for me to fix it is just wipe the, the hard drive and reinstall XP. I gotta go up there and get the laptop. That's what I'm on my way to do now. Yep. Hi, this is Steven. He's doing his vlog right now. Brian's playing on the Lindos machine. Let me zoom for you so you can see the Lindos. Lindos!
I was over there for uh, quite a long time. I helped out a few folks and fixed some computers and such. I had a computer there that they were going to get rid of. They asked me if I wanted it. It was old. It was running Lindos OS, some offshoot of Linux. It did have a 40 gig hard drive in it, so... Honestly, I don't know if anyone out there watching needs a 40 gig IDE hard drive. You're welcome to it if you are willing to pay for the expenses to ship it. I guess if you're interested, just send me a message on uh, YouTube, so. The other thing I did on the way home was stop by the Apocalypse Comics place, which is a place I had looked up the other day and just had not bothered to stop by. And they were open, so I went over there just to see if they were just comics, but most comics places have magic cards. But the bigger thing was if they played Friday Night Magic, and they do. We don't have to go to Socasty to play on Friday. We don't have to go two minutes down the road. And I met the guy, I shook his hand, his name is Chad. We're cool. And um, to prove our friendship, I've got a booster from him. <laughs> Knowing that I have just spent, you know, 25 bucks on magic cards, it's gonna keep me from wanting to buy any for just a little bit. So this Friday is a league, and he said it's it's way too late to start the league. The fourth week is type two, which is free to play, so. Yep, I might do that. Currently formatting the hard drive to reinstall Windows XP. It's really crazy to think about how far computers have come in such a short time, like uh, just in terms of 10 years ago to now, how technology has just taken leaps and bounds. I'm sure in 10 more years we'll look back and say, how on earth did we ever survive with two 500 gig hard drives? Although, sometimes I ask myself that now. Which actually makes me think, if I'm going to do this Nutcracker thing for Justin, six hours of HD footage is going to take up hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes. Knowing that I have just spent, you know, 25 bucks on magic cards, it's going to keep me from wanting to buy any for just a little bit. I've got a booster from him. 